Colorado's backcountry is a wonderful, gorgeous, and beautiful place. Anyone who's experienced this view has also seen its beastly side. Backcountry does not care about you at all. It is completely indifferent, and it is a place that it can be quite dangerous. Few witnesses more than volunteers with the Summit County Rescue Group. Our team has had the busiest year on record. <laughs> With more than 200 calls so far in 2021, the numbers, names, and not-so-stellar situations can linger in the minds of the men and women who sacrifice their all for free. In backcountry search and rescue, um, we can absolutely see the phenomenon that is commonly referred to as burnout. Volunteers are exhausted, depressed, and uncertain. What we do is not stressful. Leaving many wondering what can be done. Well, that's a fantastic question. Summit County Rescue Group Medical Officer Aaron Parment says a new stress injury training pilot program launching this month is one way volunteers can receive help. There is an unseen cost to the rescue work that we do. Among many other tools, members are using a color-coded chart to help identify psychological distress in themselves and in the team as a whole. You can think of it like a cell phone battery, where a fully charged battery is green, and then as you apply stress and you deplete that battery, it goes to yellow. The ultimate goal is to recharge each member through conversation, acknowledgement, and understanding. The key thing here is to create awareness in folks. And if you have awareness, then you can make better choices. A way to help calm the beast within so they can focus on the beauty of the backcountry. This is what backcountry search and rescue teams deserve. And now we're getting it. This is Kevin Torres, Fox 31.